Preliminary USDA data reported February 50 state milk production at 17.3 billion pounds, up 2.3 percent from February last year. The March Federal Order Class III benchmark milk price dropped to 15.81 per hundredweight, down a dollar seven from February, but 207 above March 2016. It is the lowest Class III price since October 2016. The first quarter Class III price average stands at 16.49, up from 13.75 a year ago and 15.73 in 2015. Class III futures on Friday portended an April price of 15.10, May 15.09, and June 15.29, with a peak of 16.60 in September. California's comparable 4B cheese milk price is 13.76 per hundredweight down 205 from February, 52 cents above a year ago, but 205 below the federal order class 3 price, the biggest deficit since January 2015, and the lowest 4B price since June 2016. The three-month 4B average at 1519 is up from 1312 a year ago and 1383 in 2015. In California, the State Ag Department hosted a meeting on April 4 to hear from producers on the topic of quota. USDA, in proposing a federal order, had turned over to the state full responsibility for dealing with the California quota program. Dairymen, representing the California cooperatives and dairy organizations, were unanimous in advocating that all grade A milk be covered under quota calculations regardless of the amount of milk pooled in the proposed federal order. Despite the somewhat heated rhetoric about trade with Mexico, U.S. shipments to Mexico in March on a milk equivalent basis were up an impressive 38% over February and up 6.2% from last year. Meanwhile, on the northern border, Canada reclassified ultra-filtered milk thereby closing the border for three U.S. processors, two in New York and one in Wisconsin. With that loss of market, Grassland Dairy Products in Wisconsin informed 75 producers that effective May 1, it would no longer take their milk, the equivalent of a million pounds per day. U.S. dairy organizations immediately called on the Trump administration to, quote, fight back against protectionist Canadian trade policies that are slamming the door to American dairy exports in violation of existing trade commitments between the two nations. And finally, an update on the nomination of Governor Perdue as USDA Secretary. A vote by the full Senate is scheduled for April 24 at 5.30 p.m. His confirmation is expected and the Trump administration cabinet will be complete. I'm Joel Hastings with Dairy Business and Holstein World.